Hey, and welcome back to this week's video. This time I'm going to talk about the top 10 tool for startup founders in 2023. I really show off the tool stack that I personally using to grow my businesses from zero to one. And we are going to cover everything from project management over to creating reach and ultimately also connecting different tools to really build up a system that works for you. But let's just jump right in. So we are going to start off with tool number one and it's one of my most favorite ones of all time. It's called Notion. Notion really helps you to structure all of your knowledge and work on tasks together as a team. You can create pages and it's really, really simple as creating a Google Doc to fill in knowledge and this can either be standard operating procedure, these can be Kanban boards and you can even track your investor outreach through Notion. So really try it out for yourself. It's one of the best tools out there. Second up is Webflow. I love Webflow. In the past, I've always used WordPress to build my websites, but when I first came in contact with Webflow, I was in love right away. So Webflow helps you to build a landing page or even a full-blown website in hours and not days or even months or weeks. So make sure to set up your Webflow account. You can start with either using templates or you can build everything from scratch. And it works perfectly well, especially for people who have been uh, coding or developing websites before. And all of the websites that you can see in the Wizard Ventures ecosystem are built with Webflow, so I can only encourage you to try it out for yourself. Number three, Apollo. So if you are running a business, you want to have customers at some point. And one of the ways to really get them uh, to know about you is doing cold outreach. And Apollo is a tool that really helps you to A, source the right leads. So if you have an ideal customer in mind, you can just create this ideal customer in Apollo. And based on data from LinkedIn and other sources, you can create a long list of people you should talk to. And secondly, you can create sequences that start with cold email outreaching and end with LinkedIn messages. And Apollo really, really helps us to drive our um, sales outbound campaigns. And I can only encourage you to try that out for yourself because this can be a big lever, especially in the first days of your business when you're really, really trying to get these first customers. Number four, Zapier. Absolute game changer. So you are working with different tools that are distributed, everything from Webflow, uh, Notion, Airtable and all of these things and you want to connect all of these because there are information that need to travel from one tool to the other. And Zapier helps you as a non-developer to connect the tools in yeah a few simple steps. You don't need a developer anymore and you can connect the APIs of the different tools so you end up with having a tool stack that really, really communicates uh, with each other. So really great tool and let's jump over to the next one. Kel.com. So I know that for you as a founder, time is very, very valuable because it's one of the most limited resources that you have. So why do you want to spend it scheduling different appointments with different people? Just use a tool like Kel.com where you can create your own booking page and you are just going to send over a link to the people you want to talk to and they can find a suitable time for them. It's really one of the tools that saved me so much time during my week and it's really easy to set up. So create your own page in cal.com. Number six, MailerLite. So for most of the businesses, you will probably need any kind of email marketing, email newsletter tool. In the past, I've tried everything from uh, active campaign over to MailChimp and all of the other solutions, but I ended up with using MailerLite for most of my projects right now. Because MailerLite on the one hand is quite easy to set up, it's cheap and it communicates really, really well with a ton of different tools. So create your own account, set up your newsletter and you are ready to go to A, collect email addresses and B, send out outstanding and beautiful newsletters. Number seven, Slack. You want to communicate with your team and most of you will probably know it, but Slack is still the top tool to do it. You can easily integrate with a ton of other tools. You can create channels. You can invite your team members. And it's almost like a yeah, WhatsApp on steroids, you can say. And especially for the business context, set it up as quickly as possible so that you are ready to go in terms of scaling with more people that you want to collaborate. Number eight, Figma. 
So if you want to create any kind of designs, Figma is the place to go to. It's really easy to create outstanding landing page designs, social ads, and anything you can think of. And the best part is you can work together with your team in Figma, but you can also use a huge range of templates and community files that other people created so you get to the results really, really quickly. It has been the biggest game changer in terms of design over the last, yeah, I would say five to six years. And if you haven't done it yet, try it out because it will be amazing for your own business growth. Number nine, chat GPT. So no list in 2023 without chat GPT. For me, the biggest use case is to create more output for you as a founder, or you could even say 10x your output because you can use ChatGPT literally for anything. You can use it as a kind of assistant that helps you with your travel plans. You can use it as like a marketing consultant and really ask all of your questions that in the past would need a ton of research and now you are just having the answers in seconds. So really think about the use cases or things that you spend a lot of time on and then you can use ChatGPT to finally um, be way, way quicker in doing all of these things. And last but not least, SEMrush. So if you are thinking about doing any kind of search engine optimization, SEMrush is the tool to go to. It really helps you to A, research keywords, see what your competitors are doing, and also create a long-term strategy for your own SEO growth. So make sure to check it out and type in some keywords that could be relevant for you or competitor URLs. And after a few minutes or hours, you will get a sense on where the opportunity lies for your own business. I hope this video was helpful for you. Make sure to check out all of the tools uh, on your own. And I'm sure you will really, really increase your efficiency, your output as a startup founder in 2023. If you think I'm missing a really, really amazing tool just put it in the comments below and yeah see you on the next video